If you're looking to level up your stream and put an entire broadcast studio in front of you at the touch of a button, you've come to the right video. We partnered with Elgato Gaming to bring you guys a series of videos all about leveling up your content production. And in this one, we'll be talking about the Stream Deck, Stream Deck Mini, and the Stream Deck XL. We'll cover what they do, how they work, and why you're gonna wanna pick up one of these right now. Speaking of which, any point in the video, any product we talk about, you're gonna find links in the description to go check them out for yourselves. Right off the bat, it's pretty clear that each device has buttons. In fact, that's really the main difference. The bigger the Stream Deck, the more buttons it has. But what do these buttons do? The Stream Deck paired with the Stream Deck software, which you guys can pick up on Windows or Mac, allows you to trigger an unlimited amount of actions from switching scenes in your streaming software, opening up media on your computer or even other programs, to changing the lighting in your room. You can even set up multi-actions, which is like a series of commands or tasks that are triggered by one button press. So you could set up your entire stream from the lights to opening the programs and tweeting out that you're going live all from one button. You're also able to categorize your actions into folders or even create smart profiles that have different key layouts for the different sets of programs that you're using. The Stream Deck really is everything you need to increase the efficiency of your workflow and level up your production value while keeping you focused on your viewers and the game. Now I know that we talked about a lot of possibilities here, so it could be hard to grasp what exactly you would do when you picked one up for yourself. So let's go ahead and walk through some of the buttons and the actions that we use here at Pacers Gaming. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is connect the Stream Deck to your PC. And then you're gonna go to Elgato's website to the Stream Deck section and download the software that we're gonna use to link the buttons to our Stream Deck. Now, I've actually got this Stream Deck connected to this laptop right here, so I'm gonna walk you guys through step-by-step step, uh, how we set up some buttons, specifically for our Path to Pro series. If anybody's familiar with that series on our channel, it's actually a live stream that we live produced when we couldn't have done it without the Stream Deck, that's for sure. So once you've downloaded and installed the software, we can open it up here on our PC. And I'm gonna walk you through the different sections of the software before we get into adding any of the buttons. So the first part here is that the only button is a welcome button from Elgato. That's right in the center of your Stream Deck. So we'll just get rid of that here in a second. But in the upper left-hand corner, the first drop-down shows us the devices that are connected to our PC. So if we had multiple Stream Decks, we could switch between them. You can also add mobile devices. So if you didn't know, Elgato has a mobile app that's a Stream Deck app. So you can control all the same things on your phone if you wanna try that out at home before getting one of the physical devices itself. Next is our profiles. I just have it set up as a default profile, but you can add new profiles, edit profiles. These can be the different key layouts that you have depending on what you're doing. So for instance, if I had a certain stream like you guys have seen Rate My Build. If we ever did that live on stream, we could have a certain setup for Rate My Build and then a certain setup for a Path to Pro series, et cetera, et cetera, or even a certain setup for creative programs for myself as I'm editing those videos or maybe working in Photoshop. And then we have a settings icon, that's the gear button here. In our preferences, we can change the device name, when it sleeps. We can actually adjust the brightness of it. So you can see down here, as I adjust the brightness, it's gonna become dimmer or brighter. You can update the firmware. We also have the accounts that we have connected, so like our Twitch account or maybe our YouTube channel. And then we have our different profiles, which we saw in the dropdown a second ago, but this shows all the profiles here and you can edit, add, and remove them uh, just like before. Then we of course have our buttons here. And if you select a button that actually has something attached to it, you're gonna get the settings for that button in the lower part of your screen. And then to the right hand side are all the different actions and options that we can add to our different buttons. So at the top, we can search for a certain action if you needed to do that because the list is long and it's ever growing with Elgato. You can also reorganize the different categories of your actions and show and hide different buttons. If there's ones that you don't normally use or maybe you just wanna simplify this list and make it easier to read. So if I just drag Streamlabs OBS, because we'll be using that up to the top, I'll drag the Twitch 
category up to the top. And then I'll go ahead and drag system up there as well. And I can hit done and those are gonna stay up at the top of our list here to the right. Now before we select any of these buttons, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that Streamlabs is open. So we're gonna open that up. And this is our Path to Pro example. So we had an intro and an outro, and then we had a, a full screen webcam and then the full screen display capture set up. So that was our four scenes that we wanted to switch to. So I created a button for each one of those and I'm gonna walk you guys through that. And then we also are gonna walk through how to mute and unmute your mic. And I'll show you some Twitch specific buttons as well as how to open up programs or websites and create buttons for that as well. But these are the ones I think that you guys could utilize right away at home on your streams. And this is, this is how you can really produce your own live stream and keep it all in front of you on the stream deck, but also be able to keep your eyes on the chat, keep your eyes on the game and produce a stream and level up your production. Now, as long as Streamlabs is open, we can then pull out a scene and attach it to one of our button spaces. And that's immediately gonna be reflected on the Stream Deck itself, as well as here in the program. And we have some options with this scene. First, we can select the collection that this comes from in Streamlabs. I just have one collection that's scenes. And then we can select the scene that this controls. And so I'm gonna keep this on intro and we're actually gonna create one button for each of our scenes. So I'm just gonna drag out four more slots here since I have four scenes. And so now I have four of these. I'm gonna set this first one to the intro, which it already is. I'm gonna change the title and add intro. That's gonna add a little text piece to our physical button. And then I'm going to adjust the uh, actual thumbnail of the button as well. And if you click this little drop down here, you can set from a file or you can create a new icon. If you click create new icon, that's gonna open up the Elgato key creator, which is everything you'll ever need to be able to customize your keys. If we scroll down here on the key creator, you see that Elgato gives us a ton of default options for visual graphics for our buttons. If I want it to be the intro, I think I'm gonna select something that's a little bit along the lines of like media that's playing. So for instance, I could click on this little video display button and I can either clear that if I'm moving on to the next button or I can save that. And there's lots of different other options, but for the most part, you can just click on one and then hit save and that's gonna save it straight to your downloads. So then if we go back over to the stream deck, I'm gonna select the drop down here, set from file, find that option, hit open. And now that's gonna be set up for when we're on that scene. And when we're not on that scene, which is the second option here, it's gonna automatically dim that button. But if you wanna set up a different graphic, you can, you don't have to just select the dimming feature. So I'm gonna set the same button to the outro as well. Use this video icon. And then for the title, I'm gonna do outro and we should set the scene to outro. I'm gonna select the next button here and I'll set this one to be the full screen webcam, which I've already downloaded some of these key creator icons. And for the webcam, I think I'll select this one here that looks like a camera. And then for the full screen display capture, we'll select one that kind of looks like the windows set up here. And what we need to make sure to do is select the scene on that button. Same thing for the display capture, select the scene for that. So now if we go back to Streamlabs, instead of clicking on each of our scenes, we can actually use these buttons to select the different scenes. So I can move to the full screen webcam here, I can move to the display capture, and then select the outro just like that by pressing the buttons. I don't even have to worry about what's going on in Streamlabs because we set everything up here on the stream deck. Now let's go ahead and remove this welcome button. All you have to do is click on it and hit the backspace or delete key. That's gonna delete that button out of there. I'm gonna add the mic in the upper right hand corner. So this will be how to mute and unmute an audio source within Streamlabs. So if I select mixer audio and pull that out, I'm gonna go ahead and change the icon and we'll set this from file. I downloaded one of the mic assets from the key creator. And so the on is gonna be the full mic and then the off, instead of just being dimmed, I can set this to another file, which in this case is a muted mic icon. And that's gonna just be a better visual indicator of whether or not my mic is muted or unmuted when I look at the stream deck. Next, I just need to select the source. And for this, I'm gonna select mic slash AUX. 
If we go back to Streamlabs, we can see that the mic right now is on, but if we hit the button for our new mic, you can see that now it's muted and the mic icon on our Stream Deck is also muted. And we can go back and forth with that. So that's just a really quick way to mute and unmute your mic with the Stream Deck. Some other options we can add, if we drop down the Twitch category here, you can see that there's tons of different integrated features with Twitch. We can play an ad and select that button. And all we have to do is link our Twitch account by hitting add account. And we can do all of these different features. For instance, we could have a sub chat or maybe followers only or even an emote chat. We could actually throw a message into chat. So instead of using the chat dialog box or chat window, we can actually set a message here. Maybe there's something that you say periodically throughout the stream. Maybe there's just a welcome message that you wanna say right when you start the stream. You can set that here to be a button to just send that message to your chat from the stream deck. And the last category we'll look at is system. That's like your PC. That's telling your PC to open up a program or maybe there's a hotkey switch or text or multimedia you wanna play or maybe even open up a website. For instance, we could drag this website button out here and then all we have to do is maybe name this Twitch and we could make it go to twitch.tv slash Pacers Gaming. And now when we click that button on our Stream Deck, it's gonna immediately open up our browser and navigate to whatever our URL is, in this case, twitch.tv slash Pacers Gaming. In just a couple minutes, we were able to plug in the Stream Deck, set up some actions that we use here at Pacers Gaming, and I think you guys could utilize at home as soon as you unbox your Stream Deck. There are so many possibilities. I'm sure you can imagine that they're basically endless. There's so many integrations with streaming platforms. I think that the Stream Deck is honestly the best product to really level up the production value of your content. If you guys wanna check these out for yourself, we left links to each, the Stream Deck, the Mini, and the XL in the description down below. If you have any questions or comments about anything we covered today, hit us up, let us know in the comment section also down below. From all of us here at Pacers Gaming, hope you have a great day. We'll see you guys in the next one.